always recommend never cutting your cuticles. If you use a good quality cuticle remover, you'll never have to cut your cuticles. The only thing you'll ever have to do is cut the flyaways. And if you look at the finger right here, you'll see that there's a little bit of dead skin left. If you're at home, use a nipper, your personal nipper, and I would say always clean it and sanitize or disinfect it afterwards. One part bleach, no, one part bleach, nine parts water, or use a hospital grade cleaner to always clean your nipper after you use it. As you're clipping, hold it in your hand. Make sure you have these pieces together so that it allows you some pressure and you only remove the dead skin. Never go all the way around to clip it away unless the cuticles are that dry. What I also want you to do is use your skin as a guide. Try to avoid cutting your finger as you're removing the cuticles. Always re remember, whether you're right or left-handed, that you take the nipper, hold it on an angle, and push this way under the skin to remove the dead skin. This will avoid cutting your finger going around, and it'll also avoid hurting yourself as well. So as I said before, a good cuticle remover, the only thing you'll have to do is clip the flyaways. And you use it on an angle, and you just nip really closely, and that's it. If there's cuticle left around the entire nail, try to clip it consistently so that there isn't a break. Always remember as you're clipping your cuticles to be as consistent as possible as you clip. If you find that there's cuticle around the entire nail, start from one side, from the left or the right, and go completely around the nail so as not to create a break as you're clipping. If you do, you may see little breaks in the corners of your, in the section where you started and stopped, and it may start to break, cause soreness or an infection because you don't want to leave an open wound around your fingernail. Of course, you know, everything gets into our fingers because we're always washing our hands and we use our hands to touch everything. Always remember to sanitize and disinfect your nipper after, before and after every use. Wash it with warm soap and water to sanitize and disinfect it with either a hospital grade disinfectant or one part bleach, nine parts water, small cup. If you're going to get your nails done at a salon, you should be looking for a sterilized pouch, which means that the implements were sterilized in an autoclave machine and they're placed in the pouch with someone that has gloves on and this is sealed. Normally that means that they sanitized it and it's safe for you to use. Mm -hmm.